there was a stretch in the first half when J.P. Makura hit a couple of threes. Now, this is a guy who comes off the bench, but lit it up, had a really strong stretch. There were back-to-back turnovers by the Villanova Wildcats, turned into triples by J.P. on the other end. And I really thought the roof was going to go blow off. So that was late first half. And then in the second half, it was foul trouble that caught up with Villanova. Chris Jenkins, their best player, their really the, the bulk of their offense in the first half, picked up his fourth foul, went to the bench for quite a while. And so the team was kind of cramped in its offensive style. Meanwhile, you've got Xavier, the Musketeers, who have half dozen players in double figures, and they were in attack mode the entire game. That's what impressed me so much. And that's where a crowd can really help a home team and did, in this case, at the Centos Center. Now, granted, Xavier was trying to get this first victory over Nova since entering the Big East Conference. Number one team. That's a big deal as well. It's easy to get up for these games. And the Musketeers did. But so did the fans. I don't know that they sat down the entire time and really spurred on this attack, 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 aggressive approach. And it worked. It worked for Xavier. Summer beats a double team to J.P. McCurry driving on the right side. Reverse layup, hanging on the rim. Good! J.P. McCurry rolls it in as he slides on the seat of his pants along the baseline. Xavier leads 84-70 to with a minute 36 to go. Now that's later in the game, and Xavier had the 10-point lead most of that second half, or roughly that. McCurry was so much fun. And I do like the fact that he spent a bunch of time on the floor, too. It's with no regard for his physical health or well-being, <laughs> flying all over the court. So he's a sophomore, and you couldn't help but totally be enamored of Edmund Sumner, the freshman 